National Infertility Awareness Week is coming up, so we've invited Drs. John Fratarelli and Anat Carmon from the Fertility Institute of Hawaii to learn more about the causes and treatments available. Aloha, doctors. Hello. Thanks, Thank you for joining us. We love seeing you guys. Uh, tell us a little bit about National Infertility Awareness Week. So National Infertility Awareness Week is a week where we really highlight what causes infertility around the, around the country um, and possible treatments. And it's a very important week because infertility really affects about 15% of the population or one out of six uh, people. Okay, I, I see that, you know, I think a lot of people don't realize how many people it truly affects, but I really I speak to people every day about this and uh, thank you for what you all do because I know you give hope to men and women who are struggling with that. Uh, when would you say it's time to seek a specialist? So that depends a little bit about how long you've been trying and your age. So usually when somebody is under the age of 35, um, then uh, we kind of define infertility as one year of trying and after one year of trying to conceive uh, you should definitely see a specialist. If you're over 35, um, probably about six months. And if you have a known fertility issue, uh, irregular cycles, for example, known low sper sperm count, known history of pelvic infection, um, then you may want to see a fertility specialist right away and not necessarily wait that six months to one year. Okay. Uh, so how would you actually diagnose with someone uh, with infertility? Well, the first step is just a consultation, doing a history, history and physical examination, and talking to the patient, finding out what issues they think they might have. Um, and then there's a battery of tests that can be done. For the, for the man, it's very simple, typically a semen analysis, looking at the sperm and maybe some hormone tests. For the woman, it's a little bit more complex. You have to look at the ovaries, typically with an ultrasound, look at the uterus at the same time, as well as looking at hormone levels and, uh, and also look at the, do a uh, fallopian tubule evaluation as well. And this, I mean, really, it affects both men and women. I think mm -hmm. there's that misconception mm -hmm. that it's only the woman, but right. a lot of the times you see it in men as well, right? Right. Absolutely. And we just have a little bit of time left. What are some of the main causes of infertility? So um, in women, okay, uh, ovarian aging. So, and we see that certainly with women above the age of 35, but sometimes even young women can have a diminished ovarian reserve. And for those women, uh, it's very, very important to kind of get in to see a fertility specialist right away. Um, blocked fallopian tubes, uh, problems with sperm counts, uh, something called endometriosis. These are all potential causes of, of fertility issues. All right, so there could be a host of things. Well, doctors, right. thank you so much thank for you. joining us and for bringing awareness to this. We'll have more information posted on our website, highnowdaily.com. This segment is sponsored by Fertility Institute of Hawaii.